here's our overview of the recent mapping we did for the Warford Ranch volcano. So here I am in the Agisoft Metashape software, and let's just look through the data products and how this was done. So start with the initial product, and uh, here are the cameras. So each one of these pictures, these blue things, would be the camera focal plane that was calculated as part of the structure for motion analysis. And you can see there's a, um, if you look over here in this pane here, you can see each one of the pictures that was used and then its latitude, longitude, and altitude, which initially was defined by the GPS on the drone, but then was updated in a kind of a global calculation um, using the structure for motion approach. So there's 1,700 pictures here. And uh, if we turn the cameras off, so this would be the sparse cloud. So these are the uh, well-aligned points that are the match points that define the photogrammetric solution. Here's the dense cloud. So this is using multi-view stereo to fill in the um, kind of between the points of the sparse cloud. So there's 123 million points here. I did one model with 500 million, but this is probably adequate for our purposes. Then the next product we can look at is the mesh. So this is uh, the basically all the triangles that are used to build a 3D model. And those the cross there just shows it was done in a sort of a tiled approach. And then the kind of and, and so the tiled model is what's used to compute the digital elevation model. And then we can um, look at the texture. So this is basically, it's called a texture map. So it's from the photos we sort of paint onto that mesh, the colors of the kind of best fitting image, image results from the pictures. So you see it's very densely colored, even though the mesh is not quite as, as uh, sharp. So this is kind of the beauty of the texture mapping is we get uh, very rich coloring, which our brain likes to interpret. So let's take a little tour just with the point cloud because it renders a little faster. So we can start down here by the, the cars. And so you see these are the, the points that are kind of this main product. So here's the tour we took going up to the lava flow and then on to this platform. We see here these two paths of the Butterfield stage route. Then up here is the main kind of edifice with uh, these really interesting fissures or dikes here they have this interesting kind of down slope spreading which may imply some kind of gravity feed for them uh, so there's the lunch spot up here would be the place at the very top and then we headed out this way in our tour um, into this deep canyon here and then uh, we noticed very interestingly uh, the lava flows coming out on top of these lake sediments right here so then we walked around and came back here is the butterfield stagecoach line coming in from the plane up to here and then it bifurcates so very impressive uh view of the, the data in 3D. So if we go over to arc map, so now we're in, in 2D and we see the main data products are shown, which are the one centimeter, no, 10 centimeter per pixel digital elevation model, which is here. And then from that, I computed a hill shade, which will tour 
and then there's a 10 centimeter per pixel orthophoto here which is a little splotchy in this view but as we zoom in we'll see that it's it's quite uh, quite good color wise so let's zoom way in and, and look a little bit at the resolution here so 10 centimeters per pixel there's the car so you get a sense you can see the pixels but just barely uh, so we can um, zoom back out and tour a little bit um, in the imagery and these should be perfectly aligned because the the ortho photo was built from the texture which was draped onto the mesh and so they're going to be very good so here we see if we zoom into this zone a quite interesting view in the ortho photo of those those dikes or, or fissure features including some of their their sort of discontinuous nature that little step right there and also interesting kind of curving pattern and this excavation here we hadn't noticed i don't think when we were at least i didn't notice when i was there for lunch and so that's the ortho photo we can turn it off to see the hill shade there's a little artifact that's sort of crisscrossed that's unfortunate but uh, part of algorithm i suppose so we can see here the hill shade shows us those those ridges that are standing up and we can look a little bit at the uh, area here where the bomb field was and that's kind of where we get to the limit of the resolution i think unfortunately which is you know 10 centimeters per pixel where we're not going to pick up the detailed bombs but we can tell some of the plants like the toy is probably from uh, other chrysal bush and then the bombs so uh, are just a little smaller maybe or we'll see in the big ones anyway so that's a quick tour of the the data and so the last thing we can do is cut a profile and so if i zoom in just a little bit more cut a topo profile i should say so i specify i want to take this profile from the digital elevation model and then i also I'll cut let's say from the near to the road but let's go from kind of where we walked so one vertex to here uh, to there and then out so it's a bent profile but it covers what we saw it'd probably be the equivalent if we we did it just straight through so now i can display that here And it's kind of exaggerated, but gives us a sense of, of the topography. And so then the last thing I'll do is I'll take this and export this uh, as the data, as an Excel file. And then I'll plot it up in, in MATLAB and get rid of the vertical exaggeration. So enjoy it.